One thing I, I do know for a fact, though, is you probably shouldn't use something like XYZ for an email server because there are a lot of um, a lot of existing email hosts that automatically block things like XYZ. See, so, yeah, that's what I Either thought was going send to happen. Spam, things like that. Yeah. That's what I thought was going to happen mm. when I set mine up, but it doesn't, apparently. Hmm, okay. Or it might just be because uh, the thing that I'm using is very thorough about all the like DNS stuff it sets up, so maybe it's just it's so thorough that it's like, eh, I guess it's not spam, and it doesn't maybe. really flag it as spam. Yeah. I I couldn't tell you. Man, yeah. I, I leave the, the networking stuff to someone else. Yeah. I mean, the, the email server that I have... Um, I was I, I set it up with a, it's called Mail in a Box. Okay. Yeah, and it's basically just like a script that installs a bunch of open source tools and automatically pre-configures everything involving DNS and everything like that. Oh uh, yeah. So, so so what it does is if you add a user, uh, the user being like a like an email address. Yep, yep. It automatically adds to its own DNS all of the stuff you have to have to make your 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 domain be like a really secure valid like yeah. a email authority um and you have to do some stuff on your your uh host name provider to plug it up yeah, yeah. Uh, i've actually been using it for a couple months now actually with the podcast email and my mm. personal email and nothing actually gets spam as what well, spam oh, that's good that yeah that that's actually good i like this was just something i had read from some like random blog i don't know if it was actually the case. If maybe it's just the case with like poorly set up servers, and that's why yeah. that idea is propagated. Um, it might be because this is why I've never touched email. I didn't know mail in a box existed, but my understanding is getting a getting an email server set up isn't difficult. It's getting everything associated with the email server set up that's a problem, like your block list and you know yeah. spam filters and like that. Just getting yeah. it so you don't set up this email server and then realize that you should shut it down like 10 seconds later <laughs> yeah but oh I, I might have to check this out at some point if i ever <laughs> she's gonna play with the cat i mean uh, she's like hey i want to tell her talk hey, uh, just go stare at me okay hello ah don't claw my hand don't she she will she will scream if I mention that she's being fed. <laughs> <laughs> then she will not shut the fuck up. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm but technically Wait. it's not my cat, it's my housemate's cat, but hey, yeah, you lives in my room anyway, so it it is what it is. <laughs> I have claimed you human. <laughs> More like he's claimed the bed, basically. <laughs> he won't leave that for the entire day. <laughs> 